before the antibiotic era, appendectomy saved lives and it still does for the complicated cases. So we have to remember, we're not trying to omit appendectomy. We're just trying to select the patients that would be best off by surgery. And then you have the larger population that actually could do without surgery. I mean, the, the question is, is it safe to give patients antibiotics up front for uncomplicated appendicitis? And I think based on the CODA trial and the APAC trial, it is. It's safe, uh, meaning you're not putting the patient at uh, risk of undue harm by treating them with antibiotics. Um, the question in my mind is, what's the recurrence rate, right, of appendicitis? Uh, in the future and are those patients going to need surgery in the future all of the trials have very consistent results so the recurrence rate is approximately 30 percent 30 to 35 percent so there will be recurrences in the APAC number four trial is that we're doing it outpatient treatment mainly. So it's PO antibiotics versus PO placebo, double blind in an outpatient setting. So the majority of the patients will be uh, discharged directly from the ER. So no hospital resource use. And already the CODA trial nicely showed that they actually had outpatient treatment for I think almost 50% of the patients. So I think that's, that's a very valid issue because when you think about cost wise if you don't need to hospitalize the patients at all that of course has a major impact on the healthcare cost and also hospital resource use part of that non-operative management is doing the appropriate follow-up to make certain that our patients are, are being taken care of well uh, and that they're not having relapse and that they're not having complications or issues or problems that are coming up. It's difficult to capture all of those costs required uh, to have personnel to, to make the phone calls, to have people take time off of work over that five-year time period. The additional costs uh, that are incurred for that 25% of people that do need additional imaging. And so I think that's important for physicians to keep in mind. Uh, for surgeons to keep in mind and for patients to keep in mind when we're talking about uh, how equivalent these two things are.